You're not supposed to see my dingling. I used to call it my thing when I was a little boy. I said, Mom, my thing hurts. We couldn't say penis where I'm from because it's somewhere in the Bible, I'm sure. Thou shalt not say penis. Well, then thou shouldn't have not have given me one or the desire to have them in my mouth. All right, motherfuckers. Are y'all ready to rock out with your cock out? All right, this is how this is gonna go. My name is Belle Blur. Bell, okay, because I'm from the elegant trailer park of Kentucky, right? Okay. She got a smile and it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories where every day was a bright as a bright blue sky. Beauty blender saved my life. Well, they didn't find out until I was like 23. And they're like, well, we're, well, obviously, you know what we got to do. We got to go to the church, of course. So they took me down to the church, and um, everyone laid their hands on me. And they prayed the homosexual demons out of me. Because that's what I had. But it didn't work. We love you, Miss Hannigan. My family is the backbone of the Bible Belt. I mean, they are one believing, Bible thumping family. It's a hard knock life for us. I'm from, hands down, uh, completely honest, a trailer park single mother. She had me when she was 19 years old. She was hardly ever home, and she never, ever was loving. Oh, my Lord. I cry over my mother um, because she's not in my life anymore um, for many reasons, uh, mostly because she can't take the fact that I'm a homosexual. But at the end of the day, all we have is family. At the end of the day, that's all we have. And um, as much as I have friends and people who love me and um, people who... Uh, really support me in life now um there is that bond that is there that no friend bond no boyfriend girlfriend bond no husband it's it's just completely and utterly different and one day my grandparents will be gone and they're the only you know two uh two anchors that i have left in life two people and um it's a, it's a scary notion that there are people out there that are mine and then I am theirs, and they want nothing to do with me. I think I think that's scary. I think that's very scary. My grandmother is me only in a you know a, a seventy year old white Southern Baptist woman. That that is what my grandmother is. She's she's my everything. She's my strength. She is. Um, She's everything good. She's everything good that has ever happened to me. Um, she has supported me when no one else would. She's believed in me. She stuck by me. My grandmother is my everything. There, I don't know any other love. She's my biggest fan. And she's the reason that I keep going on. Music for me started at a very young age. Like I said, we were renting that house and someone had left behind a piano. And I remember I was 12 years old and I just went up to the piano, I just started playing.
are so many arts out there, um, uh, but the greatest of all is music. And it doesn't matter uh, the language, it doesn't matter what country's border you are, music speaks to us all and it grabs our heart. And, um, and I've been able to touch quite a lot of people through my music. Drag is an outlet. Drag is an outlet of, of performing. It's an outlet uh, of my artistry. And it's a way for me, it's, it's, it's also therapeutic. Drag is therapeutic. It's a way for me to get out on stage and let it all hang out. You know, it's something to move people with your music, which I always aim to do, no matter whether I'm in drag, or whether I'm in, you know, boy clothes. But when you get on the stage and so many people are looking at you and looking up to you and it just, it just felt, it felt worth something. I felt worth something. And people admired me and uh, they appreciated what I did. And it, it felt wonderful. There's no other, there's no other uh, word for it than powerful, uh, exhilarating, uh, empowering, really is empowering.